will teach you how to share your Google form with your recipients. So when you're done making your form, you'll go ahead and click send in the top right corner and you'll have a few options. Do you want to send a direct email? So you could type in the person's name and it will send them a direct email with the form. You could call the subject, whatever you'd like, maybe reading survey. And you can write them a message like please in, fill out this form for blah, blah, blah. And you could choose to include the form in the email. It will be embedded in the email. If you don't check this box, it'll be a link and redirect them to a browser to fill it out. If you check this box, it'll be embedded directly in the email up to you. So this is how you share a form with someone to take the form. If I was really asking her to collaborate and edit the form with me, I would have chosen add collaborators and this is how she'd be an editor on this Google form. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to where we were before. So it sends the form in an email for them to fill out. This shows you that I'm collecting their email addresses so I know who filled the form out. You can uncheck that if you like. That's up to you. The next option that I used more that I use more commonly is this link one. So this is a link to my form. I could go ahead and click copy. Now I can paste this link anywhere I'd like. I could paste it on my website. I could paste it in an email. I could, if I use Google Classroom, which hopefully if you're using Google, you do, you'd be able to pull it in a different way, but you could go ahead and copy it and you could put it in, in Google Classroom as well. Um, you could put it in an email. So I'm gonna show you that way as an example. So here I have an email set up and I asked, please complete this reading survey. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna highlight reading survey because I don't like ugly links. If I did just paste it, the link would be there, but it's kind of long and ugly. So I like to do it a bit prettier. So I'm just gonna highlight um, reading survey. And then I'm gonna click on this hyperlink button and I can paste it right here and click okay. And now when the, when the recipient clicks on those words, the blue words, it will bring them to my form. So that's how I do it most of the time. Oops, let me find that form we were working on. So, and here you can share it on Facebook or Twitter. Um, the other last option is embed. So if you were putting this on a website, instead of just putting a link, you can embed it. So when someone goes to your website, it will look like the form lives on your website. So they don't need to click on a link to go somewhere else. They'll see the form directly on the website. Keep in mind if you um, never mind. Just, yeah, you can embed it on your website. So there's three ways. Send a personalized email to that recipient, copy the link and put it somewhere else, anywhere else, or embed it on anything that allows embed code. And those are the three different ways you can send your form.